Hey guys, so we just got back from the MCM Comic Con in London. Uh, yeah, we've got our wristbands. <laughs> Been collecting pop vinyls. And when we first walked in there, there's a stall that was selling pop vinyls. And I knew I really wanted Sam from the film called Trick or Tree. And um, I walked up to the store and I saw it and all of a sudden I was like, I was so excited. So she barged everyone out of the way. She I, had to have this I had to have thing. this. And they only had one at that stall. And I wasn't sure if the other stalls would be selling the pop vinyls. Because in previous years, they haven't been that popular there. I mean, a few years ago they did have the Funko people there when they first kind of came out. And they had all the different ones at the time. So the first purchase I actually got was my pop vinyl. Which is the Sam. From Trick or Treat. I hope you can see that. Sorry about the glare. So I was so excited, and this one was ten pound. Chloe, you also got pop vinyl. Yeah, I got Chucky from Child's Play. She couldn't decide on what to get, and then she went with Chucky because she did want the Joker. Yes. But the normal Joker you didn't like, did you? No, the normal Joker has swirly eyes, but the limited edition one has the nice, you know. Um, Black. Has the nice pop vinyl black eyes. And it looks so much better. And it's because it's a Sunday as well that we went on. Everything just seemed to be selling out. So I went for Chucky. I was I was happy in the end, but I would have loved Joker. Um, I don't think I can see my bag. I usually um, have a little teeny baby um, plush on my bag, and my one's got really dirty and gross. So I went to get a new one, and I got a little octopus. He's so cute. I wanted, I wanted the big plush of the octopus for ages, but I've got the little one for my bag. Because I always have one on my bag. It's like one of my little signature things. Now, I had a, a bush baby, and then I had an owl, and now I've got an octopus. The collection. <laughs> okay, so, as you may or may not know, I'm a massive gamer, and I love League of Legends. And, yeah, we were looking for pop vinyls, but these aren't actually pop vinyls. I'm not sure what they are. They look like a Japanese version, but look... They're still like vinyl figures, but they're not by Funko. Yeah, and it's a Lulu. I really, really wanted a Jinx or a Nami, but they don't sell them. They do sell other ones. But, got the Lulu. That one was £8, wasn't it? I don't know, I went there when you were. 8 or £10. It was so crowded, I had to walk away. Yeah, there was a lot of them. Um, between 8 and £10. Your Chucky one was also £8. £10. Yes, Chucky one, £10. Most of the pop vinyls were £10. Although there was this store that was selling group pop vinyls and the raccoon ones from Guardians of the Galaxy. And he was saying, oh, they're £25 each because he's the only one who has them. Hundreds of, not hundreds, but like there must have been at least eight or nine stalls yeah. that had pop vinyls and they had the Groot and the raccoon. So I don't know what he's talking about. Not only that, you can get a Groot on Amazon for £8.99. Who is going to pay £25? They weren't for a group. They weren't even the limited edition ones. Like the limited edition ones, everyone was selling them for forty pound. But yeah. they come from America, so obviously shipping and stuff like that, and they are limited edition. It's understandable with the limited edition, but not with a common Groot. <laughs> <laughs> we also we really wanted to buy mystery minis because we wanted to be we want we've been wanting to open mystery minis for ages now. So long. Um, the first thought we actually ended up buying the Walking Dead ones. We got one each. So we'll do a bit, uh, blind bag video on these. Um, the first that we went to, yeah, massive um, trouble. They were all open, and they, all the bags have been open, so they wasn't actually mystery minis. You're buying a pop vinyl that you know of, yeah. and the whole point is so it's a mystery. You don't know which one you're gonna get. And when we explained to the guys, oh no, they're all open. Yeah, so you can see what you buy. That's and not the point. And it's we went, a mystery. And we went to a few stalls, and they were like open in there, like in the other stalls as well. And the only ones we could find were The Walking Dead and The Game of Thrones, but we wanted to get The Walking Dead instead of Game of Thrones. So there was one um, Halloween Simpsons one and one Disney one as well. The Disney one was open though. So I well, didn't, I didn't want the. I didn't, why would I buy yeah. something that's open? Fair enough. Um, that's been tampered with. Uh, recently I've been getting into My Little Pony. Um, I'm not quite a brony yet, but I've been really getting into My Little Pony, and I decided to buy a pony plush. It's a teeny baby pony plush. How much was that? It's Rainbow Dash. This one was ten. No, this one was five pound. But when we walked past one of the other stalls after I bought it, I saw that that stall was selling it for ten pound. So it was like bargain. Because I'm not sure how much this one actually is normally. 
but um, for five pound, I thought, oh, it's really cute. I'll just get it because I like collecting hoodies. So I was actually on a massive t-shirt hunt because I actually have no clothes. So I got a lot of gaming-related clothes. The shirt I got says the internet is down, so I'm outside today. I think this one was fifty. Mm. What was it? It was the cheap one. Oh, it was it was three t-shirts for twenty-five pound. Um, oh no, did we only get the two t-shirts for fifteen? Yeah. So oh, was it? It was one t-shirt for ten, two for fifteen, or three for twenty-five. And we got two for fifteen. You got that one. Yeah. And I got the one that's on the floor. This one. And this one says, <laughs> "Always be yourself, unless you're a unicorn. Then always be a unicorn." Very cute. I thought it was so cute. I love the colour of the t-shirt too. Okay, again, more gaming t-shirts. I got this one. It reminds me of League of Legends and Dota. I know Dota awards don't really look like this, but it says, buy award, save a life. So cute. Love it. And then we found this other really cool stall, which was, what was it called? Oh, Icons. This was, this is their flyer. Yeah, and, and the guy on the stall, he was, honest to God, the most nicest guy you could ever meet. He was lovely. Okay. All the adult t-shirts were twelve ninety nine, and the kids' tees were nine ninety nine. Um, but while you were there, you basically put the colour of the shirt that you wanted, the size of the shirt you wanted, and what print you wanted, because he had a little folder of different ones, and they were awesome. The one I got, I decided to get the purple tee, and I got The Walking Dead, and it's just got walkers on it, with Rick and two walkers. That's very cool. Yeah. So cute. The one I got is this one. I started on the store. It was beautiful. And it's a white walker. And it says winter is coming. Yay. Game they of really Thrones. remind me of the pop vinyls. Yes. That's why we got them. Yeah, because they really remind us of pop vinyls. And the last t-shirt I got is League of Legends based. Again, I'm sorry. But this one's League of Legends. And the design is combined with like an Adventure Time theme. Couldn't resist, needed it. I think it was like fifteen pound, but totally, 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 totally worth it. Totally. <laughs> I also I love um like Japanese candy. So I got some Hello Panda. I've got a big box. I usually when I usually get these, I they're usually ten pound, but I got them for six pound. So it's really cool. I'm gonna munch on these afterwards. I'm like hungry. So am I. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, one of the like. I don't know, it's kind of the same amount, the same price as a t-shirt, but I thought it was kind of a gamble, because I really want to get a card that's less like £200, basically. But I got the Modern... What's it called? Modern Masters. Modern Masters Booster Pack, and that was £15. But, <laughs> it might be worth it. And then the last couple of things I got were the blind bag, My Little Pony, dog tags. I've got two of those, so I'll open them probably in the same video as the Mystery Minis. And my last purchase was a M15 fat pack. One, I've got loads of um, magic cards, so it's kind of ridiculous. But the reason why I got the fat pack was because I really want to try and get some planeswalkers without actually having to buy planeswalkers. Or if I get any cool rares, I can always sell them. Um, or give them to me. Or, um, <laughs> so I like to, and I collect them. And I like the fact that you get a dice in here as well, and a usable box, so that's cool. Um, I think that's it for our haul. Yeah, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe, or whatever you do on YouTube, do it. And watch we'll out for our next live by video. video. We've also got two Shopkins um, baskets for it as well, so... Yeah, check it out. It's going to be great. Okay, then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.